Hello and welcome to everyone. So basically this video is for uh, basic uh, FortiGate configuration, uh, NAT interface, NAT and uh, policies. So basically uh, this is the lab, this is the FortiGate Forti and, um, and this is the interf management interface. So uh, let's take first uh, the Windows. This obviously is this computer here. But for a configuration in the beginning, you need to open the console. There is no other way. Uh, let me see if it works. No, fair enough. Okay, close, open again. So basically, what you have to do, it's very simple. So okay, the when you turn on the machine, the firewall. So the default pass, the default username is admin. Uh, no password so in this case is admin admin so we need to set uh, port 1 uh, you know for gain the access so just conf sys uh, sys means system interface then uh, type edit port 1 and then you do set IP in this case the IP it's one and uh, 192.168.170.10 so I'm not going to change the IP and uh, set your IP so for example this one 70.10 255 255 255 255 then you need to do set allowed access and then you can type uh, HTTP HTTPS uh, and ping for example or just uh, HTTPS and then press enter when you did that just type end enter that's all so very very easy once uh, you get the access the the Google will, will guide you to you know set the the administrator password so nothing special so for setting interface in my case I got port 6 interface uh, and uh, very simple it's very very simple actually this firewall so as you can see here under port uh, 5 I got some uh, interfaces Sub, some uh, sub interfaces so let's take this one so some sub interfaces eventually you want to create uh, sub interfaces very easy just click here create interface for example if I want to create a uh, uh, VLAN uh, 800 just uh, this is just an example because I don't need VLAN 800 VLAN 800 alias if you want to be learn, uh, you type like uh, marketing, marketing, type VLAN interface, in this case port 5, VLAN tag at 800, IP uh, 192.168.80.1 as a gateway to 24 subnet and you can allow if you want to you know manage the firewall from this uh, sub interface you just click here HTTPS and that's all save it's very simple then uh, here the firewall will show the new interface you know under port 5 like the other one so for NAT just go to here just a second policy and and, and uh, objects firewall policy then uh, i have just add a few rule so this one is a general so basically it's for villain 20 all subnet so in this case only villain 20 because it's under villain 20 so but anyway um, this is port 1 to internet so as for this machine you see here on the on the screen but 
we want to create a new policy for VLAN 80, then we created VLAN 800, sorry. So create name uh, VLAN 800, incoming interface, and we go and select uh, VLAN 800. Outgoing interface, in this case we have just one interface, it's port 3 for internet. Source address, you can choose if you want all, or you can be actually more specific uh, VLAN 800. So, so in my case VLAN 800, close. Destination interface, of course, is port 3 because we have no other port. So you can, let me see if I can find here, port, no. So you can just say uh, all interface. And that's all. For So, and uh, click close. So here you have accept or deny, of course. And, uh, and okay. So policy, um, sorry, I forgot. Service, all service, or some specific service, if you have some serv some specific service to allow the, for this specific NAT. Uh, click all, close, and okay. So policy, uh, let's click here. To be honest, I don't really like how this works, but anyway. So basically, we have to go on service here. Then uh, we can choose any service we can see here, or obviously we can create one new service. Uh, let me see if there is already one service. RDP, maybe. Okay, we got RDP. So we want uh, a block, for example, RDP for um, the VLAN 800 and we just create. So just come back here on uh, firewall policy. Then uh, we open again this one. Uh, where is VLAN 800? Edit. I don't really like this way, but <laughs> For now, it's all I can see. So basically, go here, then uh, choose RDP. Of course, deny or accept, it depends what you want to do. And uh, that's all. So in this case, if I click deny, the traffic for this VLAN will be denied for RDP. So, uh, no, we we'll say accept or we say all, so it's up to you, it's up to your requirement, then uh, press OK. And at this point, uh, at this point, uh, uh, that's all. But keep in mind, for this VLAN, I just uh, obviously uh, block all traffic and especially for RTP. But let's see another way. It's a bit slow from uh, this interface, so... Okay, we say all, all service, uh, sorry, so all service close, and press OK. So, we want uh, a block, uh, still RTP for example, so create a new. Uh, block RDP. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let's see. Yeah. You see, it's got stuck uh, sometimes. Block RDP. Then uh, incoming interface VLAN 800. Let me reduce this one outgoing interface in this case is internet but of course you can block from vlan as well uh, internet port source vlan 800 as soon as receive the address 
there we go destination all because uh, it's all destination or you can specify it, uh, uh, you know your VLAN if you if you need to uh, service you can even schedule the time uh, looking for RDP RDP close deny and uh, okay let's see how it look like easier block RDP and uh, of course of course these have to be first of this one because uh, let's see if I can move it because of course this one is allowed all traffic for all destination so this one have to be first otherwise uh, as you know that access list will never take in place so uh, create another fancy port for example if you need to and we create a service for example then uh, we call uh, crazy <coughs> crazy port 5116 for example and uh, if you want uh, you can give uh, the categories or otherwise uh, general then uh, choose the protocol TCP UDP or SCTP or ICMP or IP up to you uh, IP range if you have the IP range then you choose the destination port and then you add here uh, sorry so and you add here so they will uh, and after from the uh, from the policy you deny or or allow the traffic for this specific port uh, the ports uh, let me let me do it for you uh, specific source port then you go here source port and you so you say here 5116 destination port source port 5116 uh, delete this one because we don't need it then ok then when you go to address uh, sorry when you go to IPv4 firewall policy uh, this menu I don't like honestly but it doesn't matter so we can uh, use we can still use this policy for the example then uh, you go here then uh, you go add then we looking for a crazy then it should be here yeah close and okay let's see how it looks like and and uh, there we go we got uh, for VLAN 800 uh, for all destination uh, always active RDP and uh, a crazy port port 5116 block this deny the traffic so and uh, at the bottom we have logs log and reports so then uh, we can see local traffic sniffed events events etc etc that uh, it's uh, it's a traffic I don't know if I can see something because the license will expire at the end of the month but I don't know if I can see something actually uh, because anyway the traffic here should be basically nothing I just turn on the firewall and anyway if you have a, uh, the, the logs then you can uh, see what's going on in your firewall hey guys for now is everything if you have any question uh, leave a comment on uh, on YouTube or telegram if you prefer thank you for watching